Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm all fenced in. Almost, if I look the other way, I'd almost be in jail, but this fence is going to help improve our golf swing. I'll show you how it works in a minute. All right, here we are. I have the fence behind me. Why on earth would I do that? Well, the reason I'm standing here so close to the fence is it helps me with my swing path and my, and my plane. A lot of golfers who have been watching all sorts of videos and books and magazines, they're working on shoulder turn. So they think, I'm gonna turn my shoulders. Oops, I've just hit the fence. Oh, I've just hit the fence again. When I do that and I'm turning my body and my shoulders, my club hits the fence and the shaft of my golf club is pointing way over here to the right. So that's not a good outcome. What we really want is we want to be able to swing more in a straight line. It is slightly inside, it's not absolutely perfect. And remember on my video that I, I did a few months ago about what is the correct position at the top of the backswing, I did say in that video that it almost doesn't matter. Now it doesn't matter as long as it's not hurting you. So if you start swinging the club back so far in here, it is gonna hurt your golf swing and you've got to compensate somewhere and we don't want to do that. So if I can get my back up against the fence and I just practice not even hitting a ball, thinking, okay, I want to be able to swing without hitting the fence. Start small, start slow. And if you're worried about your brand new golf clubs, I recommend using an old one. Nothing ruins a club more than hitting a fence. So we swing the club back and then gradually with confidence, we can start swinging the club more to a fuller length. And as I'm doing it, you can see my club is traveling down the line. Now, you don't have to hit balls. It's good if you can. Even a plastic ball, uh, or what some people refer to as a wiffle ball, is a good drill. But you're just trying to swing the club back and through down the line. If you can do that, you'll find you'll actually hit the ball a lot straighter. I hope you enjoyed the tip. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor. If you like my videos, why not hit the subscribe button or you can share them with a friend by pressing the share button at the bottom of the video. You can also leave some comments. I'm always happy to hear comments from people and you can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter page or my website, thegolfdoctor.com.au.